Welcome back, guys. We are back with another pack opening again. We are a bit inspired from our last video with our Elite Trainer Box of Hidden Fates. If you haven't already watched that video, please click the link and see what pulls we got. It was an awesome video. Started off with an absolute banger. I'll let you go and have a look for yourself for that one. So today we continue the Elite Trainer Box theme, but today with Cosmic Clips. Now we're not going to completely forget Hidden Fates. So we're going to finish off the video with a nice little new pin collection box. I'm pretty excited guys. I haven't really cracked too much into the Cosmic Eclipse set. Uh, I've done a couple of booster packs in a video not too long ago, mixed up with some Hidden Fates. So I'm gonna do the same thing today, but this time we're gonna focus a bit more on that Cosmic Eclipse set. Let's get straight into it. All right, so I haven't actually had a look at this just yet. All I've done so far is take that nice plastic seal off the box to make it a bit easier to get into everything for the video. So just gonna have a quick peek at what we've got in the book here. So as you can see, we've got a lot of secret rares, hyper rares, trainer cards that need to be pulled. Of course, everyone is chasing that Charizard and Gregson. Never know, we might get that today. It is a huge set. Um, I think including all the secret rares, or, um, ultra rares, hyper rares, all of that, I think it's 271 cards in the set. It is massive. So we're going to give it a good crack. I do have a booster box ready for our next video. So we're going to give that a good go as well. See what we can do with the set and pretty much decide if it's going to be a set that we're going to chase from here on. Um, so in the rest of the set, unlike the Hidden Fates set, we only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight packs there. Now we're going to do away with those energy cards. We do have our Cosmic Eclipse themed sleeves. So I'm actually going to crack that open now because in the last video I did not crack open Hidden Fates sleeves soon enough but i'll let you go and have a look why i needed to crack them open sooner for yourself we've got the gx pin got some deck dividers and we've got the cosmic eclipse box for the game as well for the game as well so i'm pretty keen let's get stuck into it i'm going to start off let's just Jumble these packs, I'm sure it's got absolutely nothing to do with the full rate. But just in case last video was anything to tell with the late trainer boxes, we're gonna see if it makes a difference with a bit of a shuffle. Alright guys, alright. So I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna um, be trying to push out some more content more frequently. I'm really enjoying doing these pack openings it is something new for me i've only been doing it for the past month or two now but it's fun like it's fun i've met a lot of new people and i'm really enjoying myself getting back on the groove again and even with the latest release of pokemon sword and shield i've been playing that religiously which is just crazy fun i can see something nice and shiny back there so we're going to start off with a bang again let's go the fighting energy Great Catcher, Probopass, Torkoal, Carvana, Tepig, Togedomaru, Onyx, Whalemar, Oddish, followed by a Charizard and Breaks and GX. That's awesome. That is the way we want to start the videos. Let's get a sleeve. Let's get this ball rolling because if that's any indicator of what this box is going to be like i'm pretty keen to keep going all right guys we're going to chuck that by there we're going to get our little buddy over here in the corner he's going to watch over our videos from now on as long as he doesn't get in the way because if we keep getting bangers like that we're going to need the space for ourselves so we'll see we'll see hopefully the case Hopefully it brings us a little bit of good luck, but there's only one way to find out. Two, three, four. 
I wonder what's going to happen when they release the new sword and shield sets and if they're going to change the pack routines as well because from what I've noticed uh, every generation they do change the pattern so we're keen to see what happens next got a Golite, Jupiter, Helioptile, Carvana again, Tapig again and Ace Toutland so that's a really cool thing they replace the reverse um, slot of the pack and that's cool I do actually have that I only have two full art training cards and they are doubles but still I'm happy and a, is that a regular rare Phil no bother a full is a full double or not the artwork is really nice really nice is that, is that they're actually beautiful cards the trainer cards in this set are just crazy so we're gonna go up with the legendary god pack for the art on this one let's see if we can get i haven't actually got any of those guys in a in the statue card um i haven't actually got the gx card the tag team trio of marcus diago and Kalkio. So I'm pretty keen to pull one of those guys. Um, more just to have. I don't think there's much value behind them at the moment. As much as there is the Charizard. But that's just Charizard being Charizard. Everybody wants Charizard. So anyway, we'll see what happens with this pack. We've got Dealey. Tediosa. Golet. Jupiter. Jupiter or Jupiter? Anyway, I'll let you guys decide what you think the name is. Helioptile. Reverse. Alolan. Sandshrew. It's a rainbow rare Rhygon. That is awesome. That is so cool that they've included this Pokemon in the set. I've seen it pulled many times online, um, but it's always cool to pull your own rainbow rare card. Be a little bit more gentle with that one. That's awesome. So far, we've got three from three, guys. I'm pretty pumped. I'm pretty stoked about these packs. Was actually really fun and really enjoyable to open and even if you do get the code card with the all green at the back it's no longer just an indicator because you still do have the potential to um, pull a trainer card you won't pull a holo or a gx or anything at the back but you will still have that chance not guaranteed but still it's better than the past few packs that we've had so we're going to try our luck and see what we've got here so we've got a tropius mimic you Lily's Poker Doll. There is a secret rare gold version of that card, which I'd love to pull. Pikachu. Stuffle. Pornyard. Litleo. Coughing. Guzma. And Hala Trainer Card. Followed by a Venusaur. And Smithy Titan GX. 4 4 4. That is crazy. The pull rates so far have absolutely dominated the hidden fates pack um this is insane I haven't beaten the amount of pulls that we had in the hidden fates pack just yet so we still got four more packs to go this is it's going to be interesting this is going to be interesting guys so we're going to keep going I'm not going to slow down I'm not going to let the ball drop on this one because at this rate i'm just bound to get another pull and i'm really hope i do just something to add to the collection and also it's a bit of fun for you guys as well because i know it can get a little bit slow when you get those regular rares and things like that in the packs but if we can keep this going you never know we might pull another hyper rare we might pull a gold card or we might just get some more trainer cards i'm not sure if you can get double packs with a trainer card and a gx or a hyper rare or something like that at the back but there's only one way to find out. So we've got a Rapidash, Dobrava, Probopass, Golet, Jupiter, Helioptile. It feels like that's the most common combination I've been pulling. Let me have a look. Yeah, exact same order. In all, in three packs, I've pulled. The Jupiter and the Helioptile consecutively. That is pretty interesting. Carvana. Tepigs. Very familiar pack openings. <laughs> the reverse Jupiter. Followed by the Hollow 
magneton a pull is a pull i will still take that i might not put you on show though because it's just a hollow but still we got something we got something so we got three packs to go then we're going to jump into that pin collection box which i'm pretty excited about uh hit a face really took the world by storm well took the poker world by storm so it's really interesting to see what happens next um if they can come up with something else that's going to match the hype that's just surrounded that set but it'll be interesting what they do there's only one way to find out stay tuned and keep an eye out on what happens next go rod energy hakamo o o o rodon type null palpitoad cricketot 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 apon wubat Ducklet, Reverse Sunkern, with a regular rare Braviary, the first pack that we didn't get a pull, I'm happy with that, that does not bother me in the slightest, this is, um, this is really cool, this is really fun, this set I think is going to be a bit of fun, um, I'm pretty keen to get into the ETB of this set and see what happens next, but That'll be for the next video. I might split that ATV up into a couple of episodes. Just make it be easier so the videos aren't too long as well. And then that way you can watch it in sections. I might do something different in each video to spice it up a little bit as well. But stay tuned. Those will be coming up very soon. We've got a water energy. Ambipon. Lana's Fishing Rod. Vaporeon. Palpitoad. Cricketot. Apom. Wubat, Ducklet, a Reverse Dragouge, that's how it's going to be pronounced now, followed by a Heliolisk. Alright guys, that brings us to our last pack of the day. Guys, if you have been hanging out, keeping an eye on the videos that we've been posting to the channel, please Feel free to leave a comment down below. I love to interact with all of you guys. Um, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Have notifications switched on so you can be notified when we go live next. And also leave a thumbs up if you're enjoying what you see. Um, a little bit of feedback goes a long way and lets me know that what I'm doing is enjoyable for all of you guys. If there's anything that you like or don't like, feel free to leave it in the comments below by all means. So we're going to go into our last pack for the pin collection and we're going to start off with Metal Energy, Togedomaru, <coughs> Great Catcher, Probo Pass, Nose Pass, O'Hara, Snow Run, Rock Ruff, Dealing, Teddy Ursa, Dartrix, followed by a Victini Hollow, that's actually not bad. That's not bad at all. That's a nice card. So, cool. I'm happy, guys. So, let's take that on. Um, let's have a quick look at what we pulled in the ETB so far. So, we got the Charizard and Brakeson Tag Team GX. The Stoutland Full Art Trainer card. The Hyper Rare Flygon. Hyper Rare, Rainbow Rare, each their own. Let's call it Hyper Rare. The Venusaur and Snivy Tag Team GX with a couple of hollows as well. So, <clears throat> let's see what we can do. We're going to get straight into it. Um, I'll show you guys the pins and all that jazz for a little bit of fun. You guys have seen it a million times before. And most people are pretty much done with showing all the promo side of Hidden Face. Um, it did get flooded over the past few months, everyone pretty much knows what's going on. But doesn't mean we can't have a bit of fun and see what we've got. So we've got the new there. Uh, where are we going to put the new? We're just going to pop the new on the side over there. Got the lovely little new pin there. Same thing, we'll put it over on the other side. And we've got our three packs. We've got the birds, shiny Charizard, and the shiny Mewtwo have not pulled the shiny Mewtwo or the shiny Charizard just yet. So I'm going to leave those two packs till last. And we're going to start off with the birds. And see what we can do in these videos. Um, see what we can do with these packs. So I'm pretty keen 
to see what comes from this because um, Hidden Fates is just one of those sets that's just so much fun to open. It's so much fun to share with all you guys as well. But also let us know what you guys are pulling from these sets because it's always cool to see what other people are getting from this Hidden Fates set. It is a monster of a set, so it is a bit of fun. We'll start off with the Fighting Energy, Misty's Gym, Giovanni's Exile, Kaga's Trap, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Paris, Psyduck, Reverse Surge's Strategy with Erica's Hospitality Regular Air Trainer Cut to follow that. Going to go on to our shiny Mewtwo pack and see what we can get from this now. Alright guys, let us know what you think. Um, I'm having a bit of fun with this and I hope you guys are enjoying as well. So I think I'm going to keep this going for a little while. But we'll see. Hopefully we can get some big pulls in the videos. We've got a water energy. Surge of Strategy, Koga's Trap, Brock's Grip, Eevee, Jigglypuff, Coughing, Staryu, Ekans, a Shiny Rolls. So we got our first Shiny Pool, followed by a regular Rare Mew. I'm going to leave Rolls on the side there. I do have that guy already. So it is still cool to pull a Shiny. Like I said, it's always fun to get pulls from any pack doubles or not but of course we are always trying to finish off that master set i don't know about you guys but i am chasing it i don't think it's going to be a very easy run but uh, it's it's definitely worth a crack so we'll see what we can do four from the back to the front all right guys our last pack of the day we have the leaf energy a far fetch. Let us know what you think of that new Sir Fetched from Sword and Shield. Brock's Gym. Giovanni's Exile. Voltorb. Pikachu. Ekans. Coughing. Paris. Reverse Ekans. So we've got no more shiny pools and a regular rare Lapras. Not the best pink collection set, but there we have it, guys. That was the Cosmic Eclipse ETB opened and had a, a couple of pulls actually from that etb i quite enjoyed opening that and we got that shiny waltz from that pin collection box as well so we're going to go for a little quick recap and finish off the video strong all right guys let's take a look and see what we got today so we did get that hollow magneton i included the hollows more so for the victini um, I do think it's a pretty cool card. It's pretty nice actually. We got that shiny rolls from the Hidden Fates pin collection. We got the full art trainer card Stoutland. The Venusaur and Snivy Tag Team GX. The Charizard and Breaks and a shame it wasn't the Rainbow Rare of the pack that we got, but still an awesome pack with awesome artwork as well. So I'm super stoked about getting that one. And we got the Rainbow Rare, Hyper Rare, whatever you want to call it, Flygon GX, which is just insane. You can just see the textures of the card bouncing off the light. It's awesome. My first Rainbow Rare of the set, so I'm pretty keen to keep this set going. All right, guys, thanks for jumping in. Like I said before, if you like the video and enjoying what you see, please hit the subscribe button. Have the notification bell switched on so you can see when we go live with our next videos. We do have a lot more Hidden Fates to come. Uh, we've got a fair few tins, got a great ball collection, got all sorts of things coming from Hidden Fates, and we've also got a booster box of Cosmic Eclipse. And I might actually be investing a bit more time into the Cosmic Eclipse set as well. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Till next time, peace. Pika, pika.